Hello students, uh, in this lecture video, I will try to solve the problems on three phase circuits. So let us solve first problem. So it is a balanced star connected load. What is meant by balanced star connected load means the load consists of three impedances. So the three impedances are same. Okay, so that is ZA, ZB and ZC with respect to N is same, that is 8 plus J6 ohms. This is 8 plus J6 ohms. And this is also 8 plus J6 ohms. We can consider this as a point A or a phase A, phase B, phase C. Okay, so this is the balance load, what he mean to say in a problem. So the Z per phase or else impedance per phase is written as 8 plus J6 ohms. What does it mean? That means each phase having a load of resistance equal to 8 ohms and inductive reactance equal to 6 ohms. That means it is basically consisting of two elements. One element is a resistance of 8 ohms and one inductance whose inductive reactance is 6 ohms is applied to a three phase 400 volts 50 hertz supply remember whenever the voltage given in a problem until unless specified it is a line voltage so what is the supply three phase line voltage is that is between a to b b to c c to a is 400 volts and frequency is 50 hertz this is the given data okay so what do you mean to say the line voltage vl is 400 volts so whenever you are doing the three phase problems better you write down these formulae on one side so that you will not get confused in star vl equal to root 3 v phase and IL equal to I phase. These are the two formulas. If you take a delta VL equal to V phase, IL equal to root 3 I phase. These two formulas you need to remember. Now, first he is asking to find out phase current. That is I phase. Remember the formula for a I phase in a three phase circuit is V phase by Z phase. Now, most of the students will go wrong they will simply use 400 by this one actually it is v phase by z phase because it is a balanced load no need to separately find out van vc vbn vcn and calculate ian ian because all the currents will be same because all the impedances are same and only the currents will be lagging behind with each other by 120 degrees okay so what we can do is that now we need to find out first the phase voltage. V phase is equal to VL by root 3. VL is how much? 400 volts divided by root 3. So always you need to have a calci when you are doing your problems with respect to electrical signs. So 400 by root 3 exactly I am getting it as... 230.94 volts. I got phase voltage. Then I can find out phase current. So phase current is equal to V phase. So let us take 230.9 as a reference voltage divided by your Z phase 8 plus J6. As I explained, you can keep your calculator in polar form and enter the numerator and denominator, you will get the answer in a rectangular form. Then we can convert that into polar form. So keep your calculator in complex mode. So numerator is 230 divided by 8 plus 6i. 8 plus 6i. So as I said, the answer which you are going to get is 18.4 minus j 13.8 amperes. See, we need to convert this into polar form. 
so that I can draw the phasor diagram, or else division multiplication is easy. So if you convert this into polar form, the current flowing through the circuit or phase current is equal to 23 at an angle of minus 36.86 degrees. Okay. So he has not asked exactly to draw the phasor diagram, but if you want to draw the phasor diagram, we can draw the complete phasor diagram. Let us do it later. So we got the phase current. Next, what we need to do, we need to calculate the line current. Line current is equal to phase current in star connection, that is 23 at an angle of minus 36.86 degrees okay so we got second point then power factor what is power factor the cosine of angle between v phase and i phase okay so v phase is what 23 at an angle of 36.86 uh, v phase is 230.94 at an angle of zero so the angular difference between voltage and i current is 36.86 so cos 5 is your power factor because current is lagging the voltage, it is cosine of 36.86. So cosine of 36.86, you will get 0.8 lag. You will get 0.8 lag. You got the power factor. Okay. So last one is asking total active power consumed. See, remember it is a three phase circuit. Okay. So total three phase power is equal to root three into vl il cos theta you can use or three into v phase into i phase into cos theta both you'll get the same answer root three into vl into il into cos theta that is root three of vl is 400 il equal to i phase that is 23 don't take any angle when you are calculating power the angle will be taken care by cos theta and sin theta. Don't take angle, just take the magnitudes. Keep it in polar form. So into point. So how much you will get? Root 3 into 400. Sorry. Root 3 multiplied by 400. 23 multiplied with 0.8. So I will get around. 12,747.9 watts or 12.74 kilowatts. Similarly, if he has, he has not asked actually that we can even find out Q three phase simply root three VL IL sine theta. We can even find out S three phase root 3 vl il this is not given in a problem but sometimes we can ask you to draw the phasor diagram how to draw the three phase phasor diagram is first draw the phases so van is equal to 230.9 at an angle of zero so at 120 degrees to this i can draw vvn which is equal to 230.9 at an angle of minus 120 degrees at another 120 degrees with respect to this lagging behind vbn vcn is equal to 230.9 at a angle of minus 240 degrees okay so this is your phase diagram first phase voltages I have drawn after that what i can draw i can draw line voltages it is a, a combination of van minus vbn take a, a negative of this one and if you do remember the analysis at 30 degrees with respect to away from this 30 degrees away from this so if this is 230.9 vab will be 400 at an angle of 30 degrees then vbc it will be exactly here vbc is equal to 400 at an angle of 90 degrees so VCA, if you take here, this will be VCA, 
that is 400 at an angle of minus 210 degrees clear so this is minus 90 degrees this is about phase voltages and phase currents uh, sorry phase uh, line voltages then we need to draw our uh, line currents uh, which is equal to phase current that is uh, IAN will be 23 at an angle of lagging behind its IAN will be lagging behind VAN by 36.86. So where you have to draw IAN? Here I can draw IAN. Lagging behind VAN by 36.86. What is IAN value? 23 at an angle of minus 36.86. So what will be the value or where you have to draw IBN? IBN should lag behind. IBN should lag behind VBN by 36.86. So what will be IBN value? IBN value will be 23 at an angle of so minus 36.86. Minus 120. So it will be minus 156 point minus 156.86 degrees so where i have to draw ic ic will be lagging behind vcn by 36.86 that is 23 at an angle of minus 276.86 degrees this is your complete phasor diagram it consists of line voltages line currents phase voltages phase currents you can simply write down ian is equal to ib uh, ia ibb bn is equal to ib ic n is equal to ic because in uh, star connection il equal to ib 